good day everybody welcome to my new course on flange leakage analysis in scissor 2 we all know that flange leakage is a serious problem and it is a hazard due to this activity in many refineries and oil and gas plants several accidents happened so during design stage we have to control this flange leakage as much as possible in this course we will be covering first a brief introduction then why do flanges leak means what are the possible reasons that flanges leak or flange leakage happens at site then types of flange leakage analysis what are the various types of flange leakage analysis methods that are available in scissor to software that we can perform then criteria for flange leakage analysis is based on what criteria we will be performing our stress analysis means whether we will be checking the flanges for all flanges or there we will be following certain criteria those criteria we will be looking after then flange leakage analysis case study using pressure equivalent method flange leakage analysis case study using nc 36583.3 method and flange leakage analysis case study using asme section 8 method so three case studies we will be seeing using a practical problem in scissor 2 software now flange leakage is a serious problem in the piping industry this is already known and data shows that many failure happened because of flange leakage problems so it has a tremendous potential to cause severe hazards to operating plants hence the possibility of leakage needs to be investigated during the design stage to reduce leakage possibility during operation during feed stage normally flange leakage analysis is not performed but during detailed design stage of every project flange leakage analysis has to be performed based on the project specific criteria or guidelines now basically flange leakage is a function of the relative stiffness of the flange gasket and bolting so there are mainly three components which impacts the leakage of a flange so first is the, the flange itself then the gasket and the bolting and the interaction of all these three elements in a flange you can see here in this image that there are three major elements here one is the pair of flange this side and this side this is the bolting along with nuts and inside there will be a gasket so all these three has to be worked together combinedly to resist the leakage problem now flanges are designed to remain leak free under hydrostatic test pressure means when hydrostatic test is performed it should be remaining leak free no leakage has uh, should be shown uh, during hydrostatic test test otherwise that has to be repaired uh, and under operating pressure when hot so normally hydrostatic test is performed in cold condition or installed condition uh, based on the ambient temperature of the environment when it is before commissioning and when the actual fluid will be flowing through the pipe so it will be hot or cold based on the operating temperature and the design temperature of the pipeline so during that time during operating condition also it should remain leak free now the design of flanges does not take into account the bending moment in the pipe now when we install a flange in a piping system it additionally suffers from two forces one is called axial force and other is called bending moment now there are mainly two design standards that we follow in oil and gas piping one is called asme b 16.5 which covers the flanges up to 24 inch size and uh, then next one is asme b 16.47 which covers the flanges with size more than 24 inches so both of these standards does not take into effect the bending moment that will be generated during operating condition so this generates 
a wire drawing effect on the matting surface of the flange so at the surface where for example in this case along with valve and flange there is a matting surface in that surface there will be a wire drawing effect that will be generated hence additional flexibility is to be provided when a flange joint is located near a point of high bending moment so additional flexibility need to be provided so that at the location where there is high bending moment this effect can be minimized and this is one of the reason that leakage checking should be performed during design phase or during detailed design stage of every project now why do flanges leak what could be the possible reasons that flange leakage is happening there are numerous factors that can cause the leakage problem in a piping system and even though many of the problems are related to construction uh, still there are certain factors that we can control in design as you can see in this image that one flange is leaking the fluid is coming outside from the pipe inside pipe through the flanges so this type of problems we have to solve or we have to try to reduce minimize now what are the major reasons first is excessive piping system loads at flange location so excessive forces and bending moments can loosen the bolting or distort the flanges and lead to leaks common causes are inadequate piping flexibility using cold spring to align flanges and improper location of supports or restraints so during design we can decide that if this piping system is having sufficient flexibility we can ensure that cold spring is not used for during flange alignment and supports are proper so that bending moment as well as axial force at the flange location can be minimized so this is the actually the main thing that we will be governing or we will be designing to arrest this thing this cause we will be trying to eliminate so that excessive piping system loads are not there in the flanges then uneven bolt stress an incorrect bolt up procedure or cramped working conditions near the flange can leave some bolts loose while others are over tightened and crash the gasket so this is a construction related issue or installation issue so during installation we have to ensure that the bolt stresses are proper as per the guidelines provided by the manufacturer or actual operating procedure this can cause in service leaks especially high in high temperature services when the heavily loaded bolts relax then other reasons could be improper flange alignment improper flange alignment especially flange face parallelism causes uneven gasket compression local crossing and can cause subsequent leakage improper flange center line alignment can also cause uneven gasket compression and flange leakage in this image you can see that left side the gap is more as compared to the right side so the alignment is not proper between the flanges so this type of situation causes the gasket for uneven compression which may leads to flange leakage then improper gasket centering if the gasket is installed off center compared to the flange faces the gasket will be unevenly compressed and make the joint prone to leakage spiral wound and double jacketed gaskets usually have a centering ring that extends to the inner edge of the bolts a seat gasket can be cut so that its outside diameter matches the inner edge of the bolts so this is also one of the cause by which flange can leak then dirty or damaged flange faces dart scale scratches protrusions weld spatters etc if they are present on the gasket sitting surface so that those elements also help in leaking of or leakage of the problems 
this also causes uneven gasket compression which can result in flange leakage then improper gasket size or material sometimes the wrong gasket size or material is installed and during design phase uh, it may be overlooked so the wrong size should be fairly obvious during installation and something that a trained bolt up crew will immediately identify the wrong material may not be apparent until corrosion or blowout damages the gasket then other processes are thermal shock so rapid temperature fluctuations can cause flanges to deform temporarily this is typically a greater potential problem in high temperature applications process variations cannot always be avoided a related problem is temperature variation around the flange circumference example cooling on top due to rain or cool liquid at the bottom and hot gas at the top where this is a problem sheet metal shields can be installed to protect against rain or snow impingement that could cause thermal gradients across the flange and cause leakage such shields also serve to keep the flanges and bolts at more uniform temperature so due to rapid temperature fluctuations due to various events for example snow falling rain etc that also can cause uneven stresses which may result in flange leakage this is called thermal shock next improper flange facing deeper serrations than specified will prevent the seating of double jacketed or spiral wound gaskets and provide a leakage path so if deep serrations are present that also will be a potential problem for flange leakage normal raised face flange finishes have grooves that are 0.002 to 0.005 inches which is 0.05 to 0.13 mm in depth then high vibration levels if the piping system is prone to vibration and that vibration is not arrested during detailed design so that also can loosen up the bolt and ultimately cause flange leakage so there are various reasons but by performing flange leakage analysis we will ensure that at the flange location the loads and moments that is which in turn result stresses are within acceptable limit so the, during detail design phase we will ensure that there is not much axial forces as well as bending moments at the flange joint location so once those two are controlled mostly flange leakage is avoided so that's all for this introduction module hope it adds some value to your learning thank you we will now be moving to our module 2